video I'm going to be walking you through and explaining a little bit about my Lone Star Premium Amp Tone which is a preset pack that I've just released in my store. We've got four presets in there. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, but what I should state is that the Premium Amp Tone, as I've dubbed it, is my best attempt at faithfully recreating some iconic amps. So we're making the absolute most out of the amp and cabinet blocks, the compressors, uh, overdrive blocks, and also EQ uh, that is built into the Helix. So these presets are limited to six blocks. Some people like to take them and place them in their Helix units, their full-size units, and then they'll you know, build their own presets around them. Or if you've got an HX Stomp like me, uh, then in my case, I like to use the HX Stomp just for my amp and overdrive tones, and I have some other external effects like for reverb, delay, and modulation and stuff. And what these premium amp tones are is just my best attempt at creating a great and versatile dry tone for you. So we've got a lot of different options. Uh, we've got four presets to start it off. So we've got two for humbucker guitars, low gain and high gain, and then in the same sense we've got two for single coil guitars, low gain and high gain. They're labeled EGS Lone Star Channel 1, so that's going to be your low gain option for single coils. EGS Lone Star Channel 2, which is your higher gain option for single coils. And in the same way, EGH Channel 1, humbucker, low gain. EGH Channel 2, humbucker, high gain. So a lot of different stuff uh, you can get here. and. I'm just going to walk you through it real quick. So our bass tone, uh, and I'm using my PRS McCarty here, it's a Les Paul copy essentially. I'm, gonna, I'm on the bridge pickup, and this is just the dry tone on the clean preset. <laughs> So how these presets work now is uh, we've got everything set up in foot switch mode and I explained that in a previous video. You just get more options when you use foot switch mode on the smaller units here. So the blank slate, the clean tone is what I've just demonstrated and then if we hit foot switch one we're going to engage a minotaur which is a Klon style overdrive. It just adds a little bit. So here's clean and then the minotaur. found, and I've done my fair share of buying presets in the past too, I've just found that so many people dial in a ton of bass and that's not what you need when you're plugging into a, a front of house system. So these presets are tediously designed to work great with professional level front of house systems in theaters, outside venues, whatever. If you find that they're lacking a little bit of bass for whatever amplification device that you're using, you can fix that in global EQ uh, if it's just based on venue to venue, or you can change it actually in the preset if you just would prefer a little bit more bass or you've just got like a brighter guitar, you know, just dial some in on the amp block. And I've got suggestions in the PDF that I include with this preset bundle as well. So anyway, back to it. Blank slate is your clean tone. Foot switch one adds in a little bit of gain, and then foot switch two, think about this as a, a channel switch on the amp. So we're changing a lot of the amp parameters here to better suit a more overdriven tone. Here's the clean again. I'm gonna go with the middle pickup. So you can use clean, uh, the blank slate. You can use foot switch one for more gain. 
you can turn that off. Use foot switch two for a little bit of a higher step than foot switch one, and then you can actually combine them. So when I hit foot switch one now, we're gonna even change some more parameters in the amp uh, to better suit them so that they can work together. So here's foot switch one and two combined. <laughs> And then lastly, foot switch three is a solo boost, uh, which just makes sense, I think. And also in these presets, I've set it up so that foot switch four and five, they're kind of optional. So if you don't use an external foot switch with your HX top, you're really not gonna be missing anything. When I have some blocks left over, I do like to fill out that full six blocks. Uh, so in this case, I've included uh, some stuff that might be typical to the Lone Star amp. And I've got a spring reverb in here. And then also, uh, just because I had one more block open, I threw in, I think it's a Timmy distortion after the spring reverb. So you've got the app, the, uh, the option to have a spring reverb that's a little bit distorted. And this goes in a wet dry path so that this distortion after your amp block is not gonna be affecting it. It's only affecting the spring reverb. So just stock, uh, we do have a little bit of spring reverb in this sound and you can turn that off with foot switch five if you so desire. Turn it back on. And then foot switch four is gonna add in an overdrive just after the spring reverb and it's only affecting the, the wet effect. That's a cool effect, that can be really useful, adding a little bit of overdrive after the spring reverb, and that's pretty common. Let's go to the channel 2 option for humbuckers. So here's the blank slate of channel 2. I'll get into the foot switches in a second. Add in foot switch 1, we've got the Scream 808 block, and it changes some amp parameters as well. Channel two is again, it sorry, foot switch two, it's gonna act as if you're changing the, the channel on the amp. So we're getting even more overdrive now. Uh, here's with it blank slate again, just for comparison. So what happens when you hit channel two is you're also gonna be changing the gain parameter in the Scream 808 block, and we're actually dropping it and then using the Scream 808 as a boost now to kind of get that mid punch that you would expect from a, a, a Tube Screamer 808 style overdrive. Uh, so when we combine them, we've got not much gain at all coming from the Tube Screamer anymore, but it is shaping the character of the overdrive of the amp now. <laughs> Ah, it might be great for that stuff. Foot switch three again is a level boost uh, for solos. Let's just listen to it. Here's the level boost. same fashion we've got spring reverb and some overdrive for the spring reverb if you have an external foot switch. Uh, let's go to the single coil guitar now. Alright so the preset we're on now is EGS, dropping my guitar pick here, Lone Star Channel 1, so the low gain, low gain option for single coils. I'm playing an Ibanez Talman which is semi-hollow Telecaster copy. I've also designed this with my Strat uh, so it'll work great for both of them, just trust me on that. <laughs> That 
that's the clean tone. Let's listen to with the Minotaur added in. You might have noticed that we're using the Kalan style overdrive for the channel one presets and then the Scream 808 for the uh, for the channel two presets. Switch to channel change again. And we can combine the Klon and the channel swap. Alright, let's listen to channel two for these single coils now. notice that channel 2 picks up where the channel 1 preset left off in terms of its highest gain option. So if you're finding that you still need a little bit more overdrive, uh, you can always just switch presets mid-song if that's something that you're into. So with the Tube Screamer. Combining the higher gain option in channel 2 preset with the Scream 808. <laughs> So yeah, there is a little rundown on that preset pack. If you're interested in hearing more playing samples, I will link them in the description as I record and publish them. Leave me a comment on the video if you have any questions about it or if you're you know, wondering if it might be the right solution for you, if you're still confused about something that I might not have clarified as much as I should have in this video. Again, this preset pack, the Premium Amp Tones, is gonna be a, a couple of preset packs that I'm releasing. This is the first one. Just trying to get the, the absolute best tone out of the Helix for just your dry sounds. If you're someone that is using the HX Stomp just for amp tones and you're using external effects or if you're using a larger unit and you want to, you know, purchase a, a set of presets or a set of blocks that are very finely tuned and refined to work well in a lot of different systems, you can drop that into your own preset, build some of the other effects that you need around it in Helix Floor or LT or Native or whatever that you're using. So hopefully this is useful to you. Again, you can always ask questions in the comments here if you're interested or you're confused about something. And oh, I should mention also alexpricemusician.com slash store for all those Helix presets. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.